In this video, we're going to take a look at the sulfonation of benzene, which installs a sulfonic acid group, sulfur doubly bound to two oxygens and singly bound to a hydroxyl group, onto a benzene ring. Looking at the reaction conditions, we can recognize the presence of a strong Bronsted acid in the form of H2SO4 within these reaction conditions. And I point this out at this point only to emphasize the connection between the Lewis acid that we saw in the last video on halogenation and the Bronsted acid shown here. Both of these reagents have a purpose in life of creating an extremely strong electrophile, an extremely strong Lewis acid that can engage with the benzene ring. And what we'll see in this reaction in creation of the active electrophile is a transformation of the Bronsted acidity of H2SO4, its desire to donate a proton, into Lewis acidity in the active electrophile, which is protonated SO3 or HSO3+. There's a deep connection between Bronsted acidity and Lewis acidity. Really, Bronsted acidity is just a special case of Lewis acidity when it comes down to it. And this reaction and other reactions like it, electrophilic substitutions, will help us see this deep connection between Bronsted and Lewis acidity. The first thing I want to point out about the general reaction scheme for sulfonation is the nature of the sulfonic acid functional group, which may look a little bit unfamiliar. This is actually just a sulfonate with a proton attached to it. It's a sulfonic acid, and we've seen these before in discussions of good leaving groups, for example, in nucleophilic substitution reactions. But just to jog our memory a little bit, the SO2 or H, or it's often drawn just as SO3H, group here refers to what's called a sulfonic acid. And the sulfonic acid group, like the carboxylic acid group actually, is a good electron withdrawing group with two strongly polarized sulfur oxygen double bonds and an inductively withdrawing OH group all attached to the sulfur atom. This group is electron withdrawing both by induction and by resonance and it's one of the strongest electron withdrawing groups that we'll come across. One question I'll leave hanging for now that we'll return to at the end of this video is whether polysubstitution is an issue in this reaction. After we put one sulfonic acid group on, would you expect another one to go on or not, and why? We'll address that at the end of the video. But first, let's take a look at the mechanism of this reaction. The active electrophile in sulfonation of benzene is actually the sulfonic acid group HSO3 with a positive charge. It's protonated sulfur trioxide and generation of the active electrophile actually just involves, quite simply, protonation of sulfur trioxide. So here's a Lewis structure for sulfur trioxide, which is already quite a Lewis acidic species in its own right, with the three highly polarized sulfur oxygen to double bonds. To make this reaction proceed, this reagent is dissolved in highly concentrated sulfuric acid, which is so concentrated that it's capable of protonating SO3. In one of the resonance structures, of the species that results, sulfur contains a positive charge. And of course, there's another resonance structure of this molecule in which all three SO double bonds are left intact, and we show the positive charge as residing on oxygen. Either of these are valid resonance forms of the active electrophile, but I think the first one nicely shows the electrophilic nature of the sulfur atom within this species, which is key to forming the carbon-sulfur bond in electrophilic aromatic substitution. This reaction can also be accomplished using highly concentrated sulfuric acid by itself. And I just want to point out this alternative mechanism of generating the same electrophile because of its remarkable nature. It involves the protonation of sulfuric acid. While I'm drawing this out, think about why that's remarkable. Protonating sulfuric acid. That's kind of the opposite of what we expect, right? Sulfuric acid is a Bronsted acid, and so using sulfuric acid as a base seems highly non-intuitive. Nonetheless, when you get it concentrated enough and heated up enough, this proton transfer can take place. This leads to an intermediate in which we have a water fragment that's poised to act as a leaving group. The loss of water from that intermediate produces the active electrophile, the protonated SO3 molecule. So you'll sometimes see sulfonation conditions written with just H2SO4, but I like the inclusion of SO3 because the mechanism of generating the active electrophile is simpler when SO3 is included. I'm going to clear myself a little bit of space by erasing this alternative mechanism, and from here to actually attach the sulfonic acid group to benzene is a simple matter of the classic EAS mechanism. A pair of pi electrons from the benzene ring coordinate to the electrophilic sulfur atom in an A sub E elementary step. And this creates that key non-aromatic sigma complex. Deprotonation of this intermediate is going to lead to the benzene sulfonic acid final product. But what Lewis base actually accomplishes this deprotonation? 
Well, this is worth thinking about. Notice up here in the generation of the electrophile that we actually created a bisulfate or a hydrogen sulfate anion. And this is a good candidate for a Lewis base that can establish aromaticity once again, like so. Others may actually be involved depending on the nature of the solvent used, but this one is nice because it's perfectly self-contained within the mechanism we've drawn. Finally, let's address the question of whether we would expect this to react further. Well, as we noted above, the sulfonic acid group is a strong electron withdrawing group. This means that the ring is relatively electron poor. That means it's deactivated with respect to electrophilic aromatic substitution, especially relative to benzene, which lacks that substituent. And so we shouldn't expect this to be more reactive than benzene, quite the contrary. We should expect the product to be far less reactive than benzene in electrophilic aromatic substitution, where the ring is expected to act as a nucleophile. 